a major victory for the defenders of our nation's history and a big rebuke for those trying to erase America's past. Oh, in the wake of those deadly protests in Charlottesville, Virginia, in August of 2017, the city council voted to remove two Confederate statues. But a Charlottesville circuit court judge just ruled that the statues are war monuments that are protected under Virginia state law and cannot be moved without permission or a change in the law. Joining me now is Newt Gingrich, former Speaker of the House, Fox News contributor, and author of the brand new book, Collusion, out today. Mr. Speaker, the judge here is saying that the people are making these Confederate statues out to be something other than what they actually are, just a reminder of our war history. What are your thoughts tonight? Well, I, I think that you move towards a totalitarian state when you start creating what Orwell described as a memory hole, and you decide which parts of the past you want to erase, uh, and then you have to lie about who you are. You know, it's very funny. Uh, the left has decided that Robert E. Lee is unacceptable, <clears throat> and yet, in 1975, Senator Joe Biden voted to give uh, Robert E. Lee his citizenship back, something he'd lost in the Civil War. Uh, so there's remarkable changes. Uh, I think that the whole effort on the left to erase American history is wrong. I think people ought to stand up for it. You're not standing up for uh, the values of those people. You're standing up for the fact that they were a significant part of American history. They deserve to be studied as part of American history. And I think that, in fact, studying the role of slavery uh, and, the, and the Civil War helps you better understand America. Well, it, it understands our scars, our lessons, uh, the great struggle for independence and freedom for all people. And it, it's, it's bizarre. Have you been to New Orleans and where Lee Circle is, uh, Newt, that huge pedestal? Yes. Where they just removed, Mitch Landry just had that removed in the middle of the night. I don't think anyone even knows where that went. It's, I don't know how much money it's worth. But now it's just a, it's just a stark reminder of, of this Taliban-esque approach to American history. Not endorsing, you know, no one's endorsing slavery, but I think they're just saying, okay, this is what we came from. And I think we should build new, mo new monuments, new memorials to expand the conversation. It's, it's, very, it's very odd. But I want to move on uh, to the dirty politics going on in Washington, uh, Newt, because President Trump's refusal now to cooperate with these endless Democrat subpoenas, it's now intensifying the Democrats' push for impeachment. Let's watch. I think the president has escalated the conflict with Congress. We are prepared to fight tooth and nail. The president has cast the gauntlet. He's prepared to fight us tooth and nail, and we're prepared to fight him back. Well, finally, they got around to invoking executive privilege over at the White House, which I think they well, should have invoked a long time ago when, when McGahn was in the, in the White House counsel's office. But what's your advice to the president in this, in this pitched battle? Well, you know, I'd start with the obvious reality. Uh, a Republican Senate is not going to convict the president of anything. It's not going to happen. Therefore, the Democrats in the House can jump up and down, they can scream, they can hold their breath until they turn purple. It doesn't matter. They're not going to have any ability to get anything done in terms of impeachment. Uh, so if I, my recommendation to the president is these people have proven that they have no interest in the truth, they have no interest in the facts, and if you give in, they'll just demand more. And so I think he's very wise to, to draw a firm line in the ground and say, no, we're not going to cooperate. As I also think Attorney General Barr is very wise to not agree to allow lawyers who are on the staff to ask questions, because it changes totally the relationship and, frankly, allows purely professional politicians who are trained lawyers to sit in there and spend weeks preparing ways to try to trap them. Barr well, will do fine against members of Congress, but nobody is going to go in against the whole series of very, very well-trained staff lawyers and do very well. Yeah, well, I mean, it's just, it's preposterous. This is only being done for politics' sake. So, as you mentioned, so Barr's, Barr shows up tomorrow. There's going to be two days of testimony uh, about, you know, 24 hours after this reported Mueller letter dropped. Uh, but, uh, as you know, the Barr, Barr says he's not going to show up for the second session if Democrats don't back down on their demand for like an extra hour of questioning by lawmakers and, and committee attorneys. So Jerry Nadler, 
is saying, well, Barr, as in the attorney general, just not going to have a choice, Newt. Well, of course it's not up to the attorney general to tell the committee how to conduct this business, or uh, we will decide uh, what the most effective way of uh, asking questions are, and we, that's what our decision is. If he doesn't show up on Thursday, we'll have to go to subpoenas. Well, I guess bring it. We'll see you in court. Yeah, look, I, 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 again, the subpoena normally is unenforceable. Uh, you can't, they're not going to be very effective in subpoenaing the attorney general. And they end up looking a little, the more they do this, the tired of the country is going to get. And in that sense, I think Trump has a shrewd understanding that if he can get the Democrats into publicly being so focused on this kind of game, uh, that the country will begin to be very tired of the Democrats as people who aren't trying to help solve America's problems. And Newt, uh, I have to ask you about the timing of this leak tonight of the <laughs> Mueller letter to Barr which is being completely mischaracterized. People are frothing at the mouth at the other networks. And they're like, oh, well, look, Mueller was telling him he's, not, he's, he's mischaracterizing the report. It's so patently ridiculous on its face. Like, Bill Barr would totally misrepresent the report that was about to be released. It's crazy. But what do you make of this timing of the leak? Well, I assume somebody wanted to leak it to maximize the embarrassment to Barr and to set up the questions for the hearings the next two days. You know, look, the, the, the deep state in Washington has played these games for the whole history of the country. Uh, this is not something new. Uh, both Jefferson and Hamilton used to subsidize newspapers to attack each other while they were both serving in, the pres in President Washington's cabinet. Uh, so we've had a long history of this stuff. But I think, again, it's one of those places where, after all the noise, you just shrug your shoulders and say, so what? Uh, Mueller had every opportunity to come out the day that Barr released his letter. Uh, Mueller could at any point have decided he wanted to refute it. And as I understand the actual key sentences, uh, the distortion is by the news media. Right, that's the what he The distortion is on. not by Barr. Yeah, he, so, and, he, and he said, I don't disagree with your, <laughs> he said, I don't disagree with the outcome of your, of your synopsis. But it was the way the media was pounding, pounding, Look, pounding. Laura, but Laura it, think, think yeah. about this, though. The media that Mueller's complaining about are the people who are now using Mueller's complaint to try to further distort what's going on. I mean, yeah. you, you couldn't make this up. Hey, Newt, I want to congratulate you. Your new book just out today called Collusion. It's a novel. Everybody has to read it. I and think they'll not, find it interesting. It's not about Mueller. It's not about Mueller. But it's, it's so typical Gingrich to just time it perfectly well, we got, with we all lucky. the news. Oh, no. lucky. Congrats, Newt. We're all Thanks. we're all reading it, and I tweeted about it today, and we're gonna Great. have you on the podcast. So thank you so much. Thank you. Take